today we are making pink sauce and not the kind that blows up in the mail on its way to you. This one is an actually delicious pasta sauce that requires three ingredients and is going to impress the hell out of whoever you serve it to. So let's get started. This is a super easy recipe. It's cheap. It's fucking delectable. And it's beautiful to have on the table. Let's do it. Nice little dollop of Irish butter. Now while that browns, we are going to take two steamed beets, cut them into little chunks. Now we are going to slide our beets into that. A tablespoon of fresh thyme. This one I've had in my fridge for a little while, so it's fresh thyme. Let those get to know each other while the butter melts. I have everything over a low heat here. Here is the pasta that I'm gonna be using for this. This is Nicola's pasta roasted beet ravioli. You don't have to use these, though I do highly, highly, highly recommend them. They're some of the best raviolis I've ever had. You can also just use rigatoni with this dish and you will have a hell of a time. Smell the butter starting to get all toasty roasty. So I'm just gonna put this in this little container. Add about two tablespoons of water to this. And I'm gonna take an emulsion blender to this. It's not quite there yet. You can see that there's some roughness to it. It's also a little thick. A little bit more water to it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it just to have a nice little sheen on it. Simple, delicious, relatively healthy. There's a lot of butter in it, but as far as sauces go, it's not some bullshit ranch cocktail that some lady's gonna be sending you in the mail. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to it, a little pasta water. I'm gonna add our sauce. It's getting to be a really nice consistency. We add those beautiful ravioli. It's a little thick for my liking, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of the reserved pasta water. A nice dark plate. That'll really help the contrast of this pop. One more to this. Let that fall as it may. Little goat cheese with a nice creamy tartness that's gonna really go well with the beets. I'm using my hands because I'm making this at home. Pistachios. Add some fresh mint. A little salt. Boom, there you have it. A nice little beet ravioli with a beautiful pink sauce that isn't a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cheers. Yo, make this pink sauce. It's fucking awesome.